Turn up this camera just in case this camera doesn't pick up well. Using my Samsung for this. My Samsung Note. Galaxy Note 3. So hopefully the audio is good. I'm trying to get closer to the camera. And it really has. Looks If the picture is anything like it looks right now, it's really good. I was going to touch up losing another one of my crushes to a douchebag. I lost Stacy, beautiful, legged Stacy Keebler, to George Clooney. And now she's pregnant with another man's baby, who is her husband, I think, now. So, goodbye, Stacy. And now, uh, Nicole, let's see, Amber Nicole Miller who was a USC Octagon girl early on, who I thought was gorgeous. She was also uh, worked with Exiance, the same company that Couture worked with, same uh, energy drink kind of people. Now uh, she's been linked. She came out of the closet as being dating Tito Ortiz, sadly. So pray a little prayer for her. Um, and now she's uh, actively helping Tito Ortiz rub in the fact that Jenna Jameson doesn't have full custody of her children, and Tito does. And it's a sad kind of uh, teaming up of atrocious people. I'm still following her on Twitter because every once in a while she'll, you know, throw up a softball of Tito tweets. Uh, Tito tweets like. Uh, some of his stuff, his newest fashion line from Punishment Athletics. One thing he showed was like this glittery muscle shirt, and it was uh, him just standing there in it. And I said, oh, look, it's a wife beater wearing a wife beater. And uh, that day I won the internets. That's how that went. But, yeah, it's pretty sad to see a crush go to the dark side. Um... Can't think of any others that come. Well, how about uh, Charlize Theron dating Sean Penn? That's another one. Sean Penn. They, they, people forget that he he beat the crap out of Madonna when he was dating her. There's police reports of him not letting her get to a phone and him tying her to a chair and him demanding a sexual act upon himself from her. And he wouldn't let her go until that was... Uh, <laughs> that was done. But people forget that. And in fact, they seem to be close friends. Madonna went to a party he had, so I don't know. It's hard to get mad when people that are the victims of heinous crimes uh, not only forgive, but celebrate relationships that their attackers get into. But that's Hollywood for you. I want to talk about uh, I saw this movie it was coming out, Tammy, and it's just hilarious because every woman that I ever know named Tammy looks exactly like the character of Tammy, just uh, obese, sat, you know, lower class jobs, talks a little bit hillbilly. I mean, I know of at least four Tammies that fit this mold. I'm mind searching. Yeah, four Tammies, and also I met like a Tammy at a gas station who barely spoke English and had very sharp, small teeth like a shark, and uh, she reminded me, so that's five Tammies in total, they remind me of Tammy, the character, and I, I want to laugh at it, but also, I know, usually when you see a Cody on TV, it's either like a, like a blonde surfer type, or it's just a fat kid. And I used to think maybe I was above that stereotype, because with heavyweights, when that movie came out, they had a Cody, but he wore glasses, and I did not have glasses at the time. But uh, little did I know it was a, it was a prediction for the future for me. So sometimes people just fit certain, certain uh, stereotypes with their names. It's kind of insane. I'm trying to think of any others I know. I've never met like a uh, a mean Chris. Every Chris I know is pretty laid back. So there you go, this Chris. 
Um, yeah, every Chris is laid back that I've met. That's just my personal experience. Every Cody's a fat lard ass, and Tammy's are just really obese women. So there you go. If you agree, <laughs> tell me in the comments. I don't know. Do you have any of those? I've I met a lot of spoiled Derricks, I think. Maybe not a lot. I've actually seen more spoiled Derricks on like TV, especially with reality, reality programming, but yeah. I can't really, I, not on a first name basis, haven't met. Uh, I had a hit video recently. It's done really well. Suddenly a rude hoe appears. It's kind of weird. You, you post videos like that, and uh, you know it's really a shot in the dark, and you don't know if it's going to do really well. And then I really wish some other videos I've done would do much better than that one, but that one seems to be the one that's taken off. And uh, I, I have a, actually a website to thank for that. Instead of urban outfitters, they're called conservative outfitters, and it's like this uh, weird GOP knockoff of that brand where they do T-shirts and stuff with. Uh, stuff like that and all they have though basically is just like uh, demeaning videos of black people just acting the fool and I, I kind of felt bad because I'm kind of contributing to that stereotype by letting that video stay up but you know that's the thing not everything is uh, black and white like that not all black people of course are just ignorant and crazy. A lot of black people are very loving. Uh, it sound, I said these are more racist. I have to explain that there's some black people that are loving. <laughs> but you know, I like to say, for every bad experience I've ever had with a black person, there's always been at least ten that have been rewarding experiences. So there you go. I remember one of the most loving women I remember was this woman named Mother Fraser that was at this uh, church I went to called the Tabernacle and the, the, the warmth she gave off uh, is just I never felt the same warmth from any other woman in my life she would always hug you and just treat you like she was you're one of her children and uh, if, if anything that woman has almost uh, <laughs> taken the 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 idea that she's raised the bar for all women everywhere that are uh, motherly and, and uh, loving and older uh, to make them uh, need to step it up sometimes because a lot of them felt in comparison to her. So, there you go. Here's a good experience. Cause I, I feel bad because there's a lot of race uh, wars going on in the comment section of that video. So I'm wondering if I should just close it down. But I'm also, I'm really a free speech guy, so I kind of let it go on. I take a lot of punishment, too. I'd say like 70% is like support, but like a lot of that support's also borderline racist. And then the, the rest, the 30% is like, they hate me, and they call me Grizzly Bear. And, you know, fat ass and stuff like that. But the Grizzly Bear thing, I don't, I don't get it. I think that's a compliment. Grizzly bears are awesome. You know, that's, that's the top bear, right? Not a koala bear, not a black bear, not a polar bear. A grizzly bear. Those are some mean motherfuckers. I mean, it's like if someone started call, calling you like a great white shark. You great white shark? How dare you? Oh, you're saying I'm a natural predator that fears nothing? I can go with that. I don't know. I mean, it'd be meaner if you called me a sloth, I guess. Sloth or a uh, panda. Call me a panda. That'll piss me off. But then I'll say, you know, if you're doing it out for race reasons, you can't hate on a panda because they're both black and white. So, there you go. But I've enjoyed the success of that video. It's made up probably 70% of my uh, YouTube AdSense since it's gotten hot. Which is sad because it's also dropped off, my other videos have dropped off a bit. 
from it. So that sucks, but it's a give and take relationship. And I, it has overall all helped me get checks coming sooner. And I can't hate that. But yeah, if you have a chance, go look at it and watch the race wars going on. It's it's entertaining. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, stuff that will lower your thoughts of uh, humanity as a whole. Even in this new YouTube where people have to use a lot of times their real names. Grim introduced a new character called Trouble. It rides with trouble. She's like a runaway Grim child. And she's kick ass. She's awesome. If you aren't watching Grim, it's almost breathe, breathe new life into the series. Check it out. She's really raised the bar because she's a you know, real great Grim character. Real strong Grim. Uh, just a kick ass Grim. And Grim is doing like traditional Grim stuff, and that's, uh, you know, defeating the, all these vests in there out there. Just taking out the trash, really. Something Nick is like, you know, kind of go on. She's raised the bar. Um. Oh, also on Grimm, I, I saw the mon money of co the money of color, no, the color of money recently, and I, I made the, the distinction. I knew I saw that girl that's kind of playing Tom Cruise's character, and that Paul Newman's kind of flirting with during out the movie, and I realized that's Nick's mother from Grimm. She's also the love interest in Scarface, which I've never seen, but I saw that on her credits. So. Tremendous talent. She was actually really good in Color of Money, I thought. And it's amazing they got a star like that to be in Grimm. Which, uh, you know, is kind of uh, hacky. It can be hacky. It's cheesy sometimes. And it's fun. Uh, it's a fun show. Kind of the same. A lot of shows I watch are like that. Like Revolution and stuff. They're, they kind of have a, 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 just a cheesy side. They're willing to go for a cheap joke over uh you know keeping the dark theme going so yeah check it out she's in it too uh, i want to say of course follow me on twitter yeah i'm always making some uh crazy remarks I've been actually doing a lot about challenging companies that promote tweets, making uh, jokes about them, and, you know, really going full force at them to the point where, like, they will follow me back and uh, they'll actually pro direct message me and ask me, you know, can we help you with your problem with our company? I actually got a really good back and forth with Staples about how they're obsolete. And it was it was kind of sad because they... It got to the point where they couldn't reply back because I was right. You know, they, they came back with stuff like, well, we price match everybody. I said, you don't have the selection to price match. <laughs> that tool only works if you have a bigger selection, like some big boxes do. You don't. And then they stopped after that. It was funny, though. I, I found myself shopping at Staples, like, right after that, so I'm a bit of a douche. But I hate I hate when I, my feed gets interrupted by a promoted tweet. These are people that pay, pay Twitter to have their advertisement go out to everybody. And I guess it's a way that Twitter's found to make money. I don't know. I don't know how you fix that. I, there, sh there should be a better way, though. I don't know. It could be like a premium membership where people get more than, a, was it, 142 characters? They get like uh, maybe 200 characters five times a month or something or a week. You know, there, there could be some like uh, special accounts. And people would pay for that. Especially when you have all the stars that Twitter has. So, yeah, that would be a good way to make extra money and stuff. But, you know, these companies make these awful advertisements. They're really, a lot of them are just such shit uh, but I, I really enjoy Twitter it's fun uh, now that Big Brother's back up I love the Big Brother updates 
That's fun because a lot of stuff happens in the house that they don't show on the TV because it happens late at night or it changes. Like, say if so-and-so hates someone, then all of a sudden, say two episodes, uh, two days later, they all come together and stuff. But then, like, episode before taping, before another episode airs, they're back at uh, fighting each other. Well, you'll never see them become friends. The, the show it has to be edited so much and kept on a common theme. They'll just go back to them fighting, and you'll never know that they became friends for a brief second or had an alliance for a brief time. So you'll miss out on a lot of little stuff that really is fun for the show. So. Also, I was watching uh, Twitter mainly for Alex DeMoe was doing some neat stuff. He was having a parking space war with a new neighbor, and that was that was fun to watch. Actually, he needs to update people on that, Alex. If you're watching this, you know, give us an update. At one point, the person finally got a head was taken away on a stretcher. So, I mean, Alex don't play. Also, he's doing some good videos about his uh, time with Uber and Lyft, uh, both, uh, you know, I guess you call them free-based taxi programs that anybody can do. I really was interested in doing some of that. I'd have to get a better vehicle on mileage. I've been thinking about this uh, retired police car that's all like a navy blue, 150,000 miles, 2,500, and it has... Uh, it has it gets 24 uh, on the highway, 24 miles per gallon, which is better than anything I got. And also because it's a newer vehicle, I, I think it puts you in a better range. Oh, I let it go out. Cheap bastard. So yeah, let's see what else I want to talk about. My cute kitten, Tara, that I've shown you before. She was in this uh, awful predicament earlier in the June where I wasn't there when it happened. But what happened was Daniel had her outside and she and my mother had brought the dogs over. And the dogs, no, Daniel didn't bring her outside. She escaped from the back porch. She found a way to get out in a hole she made. And she got out while the dogs were out. And the dog didn't even see her, but she saw the beagle hitch. She just looked at the beagle and ran up a tree. And uh, she kept on going up that tree. She got up uh, 50 feet, I think. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I could barely throw stuff at her at this range. I mean, we tried calling her. We tried uh, hoisting a cooler for her to get in that had food in it. For her to get in and to come down, we we tried uh, throwing. I threw a lot of stuff at her, a lot of sticks and stuff. And it killed my arm. I mean, my back was hurting, my arm was hurting after a day of just throwing this stuff. And she would, you would see her like adjust herself when she would get hit. And it happened rarely because she was so hard, high up. It was hard to get a good hit on her. I mean, 50 feet up is hard to throw at. And she would readjust it sometimes with her feeding, but she sometimes she even went higher. Sometimes she could talk her down lower. It just it was it was really nerve wracking, and a really trying time for everybody involved. And eventually, what we did was uh, we Daniel at his wits end. We he mainly I helped a little bit by helping with a chisel, but he cut down a tree. And it fell on some of the back porch because it was just it had such a tilt to it. We 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 kept away. We were just happy that it didn't fall on power lines, but it did take out some of the back porch, and we'll have to work on that. But she came down with the tree, and she's perfectly fine. She ran to the front door. We let her in. My mom let her in, and uh, she's been in ever since, pretty much, for the whole month of June. She's been an inside cat, pretty much. We let her go out a few times, and she gets out, you know, a few inches, and she sees a tree or something. She freaks the fuck out and goes back inside, which I guess is kind of a good lesson to learn. At least she learned something from the whole thing. It's just, but it's just taught her to be more of a spaz. The dog is so weird. All he did was look at her, and she jumped up this tree. 
it went way up it. So I'm glad that's over. What, what my brother's trying to do is he's trying to find an exact uh, crotch of the tree that she was in for so long, and he's going to cut it off at a certain point and just put it in the house <laughs> to piss her off more. Because, yeah, she, she, goes, she hates the smell of trees. She doesn't like the sight of them. And just to have that area in our house will freak her the fuck out. <laughs> My brother, he's very vindictive. Uh, so, yeah. Um, what else we got? I'm going to be trying. Uh, there is no try. I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be posting a video every day in July trying to kickstart my channel up again because I've been getting lazy with it just to help me create more and uh, you know, it helps me to think of more stuff to tape if I have a deadline so I'm gonna be doing that for this uh, whole month of July I'm also be vacationing soon um, I'm gonna be by myself I was gonna think about going usually I'll stay mostly at home but I was thinking about going to some of the Carolinas uh, South Carolina North Carolina for maybe like a three day or a four day trip up there for a while and that'd be nice I really like the mountains they're beautiful and uh, it's just there's so many cool things up there uh, just roadside barbecues and and uh, nice people and just beautiful views it's just my kind of uh, place if I could move anywhere it'd probably be you know South Carolina North Carolina just out of, uh, I love Georgia very much, but just peaceful. Also, there is a uh, Rocket Fizz Cola that I wanted to try out in Carly, Cary, in Cary, North Carolina. Yeah. I've heard good things, and uh, they, they make this uh, bubblegum soda that's patented after uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper. So, yeah. Uh, I love so my soda pop, so that'd be nice to visit too. But I was oh, I was going to ask if anyone has any kind of uh, cool attractions, uh, you know, restaurants or or sites or uh, anything in the Carolinas. Tell me about them, and maybe I'll stop by. Uh, I'm always you know I'm always all ears. I remember when I went to uh, the, the Daytona area. Somebody told me about this cool flea market, and I was able to go and experience it. And it was just fun for hours. It just lots of shops. It was a neat place. And I was able to, you know, buy some cool stuff, but mainly just a window shop and some neat things that you don't see anymore. So yeah. That's about it. Uh, I'm just going to close out with. Yeah, that's it. Video every day of July. Follow me on Twitter. I got the link in the description. And uh, anything cool about the Carolinas I should check out, tell me and I'll check it out. Otherwise, I'm signing off. This has been Noji Tut. Um, Thanks for watching, my Timmies!